Our engineers have every bit the war fighting spirit that many of the end users have. SOSNI itself is a naval science experiment, and that's what SOSNI is. It is an event that brings uh, teams from across the command together to do experimentation, integration, data exchanges, bringing them all together to collaborate in such a way that we don't normally get to within the labs. In particular, we try not to make this an exercise. We want to make this an event that's a safe space for engineers to come out here, be in uh, a, a, an environment where their equipment would be used. Uh, about 25 years ago, I read a quote from J.R. Tolkien. He said that in an allegory, the author owns the reader, but in a good story, the reader goes wherever they want to go. An exercise is a scripted event by authors. They have objectives, but they need everybody to do exactly what's going on. In the experiment, the IPTs are the authors of this event. So they create what they want to do. We create the environment. This event started five years ago. We started it with just the Marine Corps Intel Systems and it's grown and grown and grown. So this year we had probably 100 to 150 scientists and engineers. We had about an estimated 25 or so different systems. We, we had four to 10 uh, outside organizations and two to three concurrent geographic uh, locations operating at the same time. So what's important about this is our engineers and scientists are head down all the time, focused on their program of record capabilities, what's coming out through requirements, but getting them to actually work with real warfighters allows them to see what's in the realm of possible on those systems. So you get in this environment and you're next to people that you wouldn't necessarily be next to for a few days in a close environment where you can talk about, hey, I've got this system maybe that can talk to that system we think. With the end user coming in, they can get a picture of how usable the system is with the end user, if it makes intuitive sense to them. And because the systems are very mature, they can immediately insert engineering changes and then deploy to the warfighter even faster and more capable system. To, to the casual observer, they probably would all look the same, but you're gonna have hardware, you're gonna have a general user interface, uh, frequently you may have an associated antenna, and sometimes you may have uh, a crypto device, um, you'll have software, and so the software that's on the systems will kind of do different things. So we were fortunate to get some support from the, from the National Guard here in South Carolina, and they provided an Apache for us. They've come out a couple of days now to fly around. We're able to connect up to that patchy, pull in information, pull in uh, video, see what they're targeting, be able to share that data with our intelligence platforms. The aircraft could also serve as a communication link. So as the aircraft, like for instance, we had the balloons up, they're up at increasing line of sight capability to receive communication links within some of the vehicles that we had out there, there were these actual systems mounted inside the vehicles. Uh, the same vehicle could be doing a target tracking of the helicopter and then passing the information to the tents. We get tremendous support from the command, from the base, uh, and from all the different organizations around here, and it brings it all together. And I think that, that crowdsourcing is what really makes it, makes it great. The, the naval part of SOSNI uh, means Navy and Marine Corps integration. So we're, we're trying to merge all the systems that would be together down, down range in actual warfighting scenarios. Capabilities that have come across is the full motion video processing by several different systems, um, automated automa uh, object detection. There is language processing capabilities that some of the different systems are working with. 
and all of that is available now to the Marines and sailors because of the collaboration here at Sosne. We're, we're standing on the shoulders of those that came before us. So proud to see all the opportunities and all the involvement with all the different teams. And there's no way we'd be nearly as successful if we didn't have the path that she paid for us. And now we can add to it and keep growing this. And we're more than willing to take all we learn here and feed a larger exercise scenario, whatnot. I think if we keep them separate and figure out how to merge experiments with exercises, everyone's gonna win.